right about now. <laughs> hey, Flasher, are you here? Or are you still muted? Hmm. Hmm. Wow, yes. Wow, I was muted. What, yeah. What a, what a strange position to be caught in. Yeah, because <laughs> you, were, you were just, sounded just like my wife with that first statement you made. <laughs> <laughs> What is that, like a girl thing or something? I think it is. Even Sirk just said it's a girl thing. Even Soik said don't it? Don't worry. Yeah, she said, I don't know what it is, but it must be, because I said so. Ah, see how she is. Oh, yeah, well. isn't that wonderful? Yeah, it is. It is kind of, kind of, sort of, almost, maybe. Guess what? We're what? at the dork table. Where? Where? At reallibertymedia.com, channel 3. Also on the RLM uh, radio dot XYZ. Or, yeah, Why? that one. <laughs> Why you just and the RLM Spreaker help? channel. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, everything's in three letters. We're starting to sound like a government organization. Oi, yoinks. Oh, God, we don't want to. <laughs> wow. The RLM attack. FN this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and FN went down. Ooh, it went down. Okay. Like uh, a sailor on a wharf. <laughs> oh. I mean dwarf. I, no, I meant wharf. Wharf? Wharf, 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 <laughs> wharf, wharf. Oh, well. Hi, everybody. Let's see. Over here on Fakie Book. Yeah, I just put, I just put it on Fakie Book. So, yeah. I doubt very seriously. FN is down right now, actually, by the way. <laughs> For all of you that are members of FN, um, yeah, it had a wee bit of an issue, and it is down right now. <laughs> Poor Z Blaze. Oh, I know. No, F, no FN and no Facebook on the same day. Oh, we told him man. he was praying to the wrong guy. He wouldn't yeah. listen. Yeah, see, he shouldn't have pissed me off. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, you get it. See, Miss Mary, you will always get in return what you put out there. That's right. I have yeah. spoken. And if you don't put out, well, then that's uh, what you get in return. Uh, <laughs> out. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, you dirty girl. I get it. That was <laughs> Okay. Oh, yes, I'm still choked up. Um, mm -mm. We got new stalkers over on Twitter. Yeah, hey. Tessa is on Twitter. Our Tessa. Our Tessa. Yeah. I'll be damned. Hey. Yeah. I'm and, not on Twitter. Uh, well, you I'm are, but you aren't. You're a Twitter quitter. I'm a, I'm a Twitter quitter. I'm boycotting <laughs> all the big boys in the world right now. <laughs> You hear them knocking okay. on my door asking for my business because I've deserted them? No, but if enough people did it, they would. Ah, okay. I see a way cool game over here on Twitter. I may have to make Twitter. one of those. I know. It's just way cool. It's like you got to put your... Um, you got to put your horn in the hole. <laughs> oh, here we go. Already, Mary, you haven't even said hello yet. <laughs> hello. People are going to think you're a I'm a perv. <laughs> you're a dirty old girl. Ooh. No, I just, <clears throat> excuse me. I see innuendo in just about everything. In your uh -huh. end. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Except when you do your own show. Oh, no, even. Then it's serious, and oh, I know this, and oh, I know that, and uh, oh, I think this. And on the dork table, it's, you're a dirty girl. Well, because it's time to release my inner dork, and on, on my regular show, I'm not always so prim and proper. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be kind. See why I just don't? I'm just bad at it. Uh, I can't oh, even give you a compliment. Okay. I know. All no. right. Back I'm, to the whole laws. I'm so busy. smart. Okay. I got to retweet this fun game, though. Put your Ooh, horn okay. in the hole. I got to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you're going to do. <laughs> oh, the imaginary world. Uh, that we live in. Yes. Well, my imaginary world is. Yeah, I enjoy I it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hello, RLM! Hi, RLM. I'm still choked My up favorite. from all that damn dirt blowing know, around yesterday. I was, I was stalling for you oh, so thank that you, you could drink a beverage and clear your magic voice box. 
Ah, for, oh. for our hardcore 12. Oh, shit. And I just noticed I'm a slacker on changing my name, too. Grim Nerd ah. added a quote. What a strange position to be caught in. <laughs> Flash. <Really? laughs> hey, wait a minute. That's not my quote, quote is it? Uh, wow. Yeah. Boy, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That may very well be the most intelligent piece of writing I've ever seen. (laughs) (laughs) It's just a shame. I'm I'm always stoned, and I I don't remember writing it. (laughs) Huh? Well, maybe you didn't write it. Maybe you just said it. In any case, Uh, yeah, over here in the RLM, hi, everybody. (laughs) And hi hi to Minds, hi to Twitter, hi to Fakey Book, hi to those that wish they were on FN, but, well, FN is not here right now. Uh, We are experiencing some technical. (laughs) (laughs) Good job, Bo Diddy. I ain't saying any names. I I ain't going to do it. Oh, well, you know, he does have a life, and he's probably busy. Uh, Well, things happen in life. Yes, they do. Please. Yes, they do. In any case, if you're listening, come on over to the RLM, make up a nickname, join the chat, give us some static. But while we're here, Barman is right up top. Hey, Barman. (laughs) And closely followed by Grim Nerd. Booyah. That's yes. The, good. Good afternoon, Mister Grim Nerd. He's the. Mm. He's the. Uh, um. What? I don't oh. know. Yeah, I said oh. that when I was muted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said that when I was muted. Oh, yeah, I did. Hey, how do you? NSA Grim Nerd. We we at intruder alert. <laughs> Out no, good. when when you unmuted yourself, you were commenting, and then you said, "What a strange position yeah, to be caught in." <laughs> that, that was a very clever thing to say at the time. I look back on it. Yeah, me. Oh, okay. In any case, hi, Grim Nerd. Yeah, and lovely Moose Girl is in here. Hi, Moosey. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the lovely Kate is also here, as well as Asmo, Asmo. Beth Z is here, as well as Chalsa Denis. Chalsa Denis got the O out of there. O, O again. (laughs) O. It's my rock, and I'll put it wherever I like. Hi, cycle. Uh, she went. She went with Hannah to the beach. Said, "See uh, you suckers later. I'm getting uh, the fuck out while you're talking." Well, uh, <laughs> she's making a break while she can, huh? Uh, yeah, I see how she is. Uh, <laughs> I also see Chloe. Chloe. Chloe singular. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, and free enslaved. Although he's marked away. Oh, yeah, because he does. He doesn't like the way I talk to his buddy. Oh well, uh, so, so he's he's avoiding us. Well, you know that's that's his right. It's his prerogative. He can do whatever he. He's a big boy, Gramsci Dork. Yeah. yeah, that's me. I be Don C and I be Don C. Yeah. Woik is Look here. Look at that. Double I know. trouble. I know. Java Doctor Two is also here. Java Doctor Two. And J Dread the Hansel. Oh, yo, liberal Peter. <laughs> I also see JJ's. Hey, I didn't say cock. I said liberal. I know. I... <laughs> yeah, I was good that time. <laughs> well, they are kind of sort of mm, moving yeah, along. That. Yeah. Hi, JJ's. I also see, uh, mm, uh, ooh, Free and Slave Test just left. Um, Juana Taco is here. As well as Meister Brower and Rain. <laughs> Woody, honey, are you getting ready to move to Arizona? If you are and you have Waco rocks, I will take some rocks. I will take some rocks from you, but I'm not going to Washington State to get them. <laughs> I know there's always that catch. The most expensive, out of the way diner you've ever been to. Ah, no shit. Kansas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I went to Tucson from Washington by way of Kansas. Yeah. Where did that make- Damn. That wouldn't make sense to anybody, but it would be a fun trip. It, mm. Good luck, Woody. 
<laughs> I also see <laughs> RLM Fluki is here, the Vanna White of the RLM channel. Oh, um, oh, the the loins are still rumbling. waking up. Mm. The fluke, yes, she makes my loins rumble. Um. Oh, oh, Lynn says that Alan is still here or still in Denmark. That's family stuff. I'm not talking about it on here well, right now. Well, I know, but it's, I just, I saw that, and it's like, oh, okay. In any case, moving along, moving along. Oh, where am I at? Woodman, Woody. See, we got, we got a double. Woody. Yeah, I know. We got Meister Bear and Woodman. And Holy crap. We got a, we got a Woody Woody on the dark table. One of these is the evil twin, this, and I'm this not sure which is which. Thing. Mm. And welcome I'll... back, Free Enslaved. I also see... Do, 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 do. Where did I... Wow, I completely missed. Rob works and trust no one. Hi, Rob. Oh. I saw that you fired up the bubbler, bubbler. earlier. Thank you, Rob. We like the yes. bubblers. Yes. Bubbles. We like sure. bubbles. Thank yes, you. we do. Happy <laughs> bubbles <laughs> for me and you. <laughs> That is my favorite voice that you do. I love that. <laughs> I also see a verse is here as well. As, hey, Colfax 101 is still marked That's away. Right. Nensen Dubois, get off your dead ass and come listen and play along. Oh, yeah. did I say that out loud? <laughs> yeah. I, hmm. I, you heard her. You heard the woman say it. Do it. Yeah. Just get yeah. it over with. Yeah. Do it okay. anyway. I was well just do it while you can. Yeah, there you go. Hi, yeah. Dakota and Dima and Dorky Lynn. Hi, Dorky Lynn. <laughs> Yay, Dorky Lynn. And Dork Tester, I think that's you. Yes. Yes. And then we have a Frumpy and a Frumpy 3. Wow, a double di See, now I wonder which one of those is the evil twin as well. No. Mm. We'll have a contest. Ooh. We could come up with the evilest twin on the RLM. Oh, I win. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. We'll talk about that a little later, Miss Little Missy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hi, Kozu. <laughs> and mmm, bot. And moi, 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 moi. The M's always get me. I don't know what that is. I know. And Poxified and Poxa Home. Pox Wow. I Dang know. Dipping. We have lots of double mint, double mint, double mint uh, gummers going on here. I'm telling you. It's crazy. I also see Papa Pond sauces in the it's chat. The awesome. Yeah. And Slim Jim Flim <laughs> is here. Sweet. And yeah. Teddy, the cuddly Teddy one. Teddy came back, too. Look at this shit, huh? Yeah. yeah. And Ted Phantom. Oh, Teddy, don't fuck around. Do. Uh, telling you. Phantom. Oh, it's the Do. Phantom. Oh, no. Phantom. Mm. Help, help. It's the phantom. Phantom. Phantom, phantom. <laughs> so, um, what did you want to talk about today? Because me, I was going to talk about, I'd, yeah. I'd shared that, um, oh, last night I talked about the uh, the gal that wrote the open letter to Congress to, you yeah. know, explain to them about diseases and how inoculating people from those diseases for public safety concerns is just stupid. Based on the properties of the disease itself. And so I shared it over on Fakie Book. Mm. And my little sister jumped on there. And let's see. What was I got? I got to say this right here. So, whoa. Oh, I got to update info. No, I'm not going to update info because you probably want my freaking phone number and I ain't giving it to you. In any case, um, let's see. She said that there was a measles outbreak over there and this story doesn't address MMR the headline will lead some to believe that this is a statement of all vaccines a blanket statement like that would be untrue well you know number one there's no such critter as okay and that's a blanket statement in and of itself yeah, yeah. but um, okay. <clears throat> the sure. MMR has its own little issues you know especially over in the UK they're having all kinds of issues with that proof that it does cause all kinds of damage and that the manufacturer knew it caused this damage and yet continued to push it and the mm. UK government and the health ministry over there continued to push it and are still pushing it actually mm -hmm. yeah. but um 
they've got they know you, better oh yeah well yeah but they don't care you know and that's right. the, that's well, the problem okay. is you know that's the problem with this world you got some people that really care but mm-hmm. they don't know what direction they need to go with it once they you know they care but they don't know what the hell to do about it and then um, you have people that just flat ass don't care and they know that they're just going to go out and have damn good time at everybody else's expense so you know it's it's caring without a direction and lack thereof that is what's wrong with this world i have spoken i've always wanted to well, do that <laughs> yeah, but you, yeah but you did that a couple weeks ago too I uh, know. How, where do you start with a thing like that that's such a it's such a misrepresented thing from the gate medicine you know yes. we're all taught wrong and, and all the books turn out to be full of holes and bullshit Mm-hmm. And the stuff that is true doesn't matter. And the stuff that matters isn't true. So, hmm. yeah. I say this. Here, I'll tell you a quick story about my, uh, my back in 2011 when I was coming to Scotland. I had uh, finally broke down and said, okay, if you'll leave me alone, I will go to Scotland. And that began the process of the, the paperwork and uh, passport renewal and all this shit that I'd let lapse because I didn't use ID and whatnot. Uh-huh. So I had to re- reinstate all that shit. Social fucking security. I'll tell you those uh, illegal aliens got lots of patience because they do all this shit. Anyway, so I did all that shit. Uh-huh. And then I, I just remembered the other day, I've been ignoring this for years. Uh, I had to get a flu shot through the state thing, mandatory, some kind of note. And I remember the the day, it was such a minuscule thing that I've never thought about it, but it was funny how it happened. Uh-huh. So I'm I'm at the place and they're going, okay, well, you got to get a shot. Now, okay, I got to get a shot. Fuck, let's just do this and get it over. So I walk over to the woman and I pretend to start pulling my pants down to, you know, make her laugh, not to make her freak out. And I, you know, it was a joke because you get the flu shot in your arm. Ah. Uh-huh. Huh. And yeah, well, I thought the whole thing was a big gag joke. I mean, I didn't take any of it really fucking serious. But what I've read about flu shots since is kind of frightening. Yeah. But yeah, I completely blocked that out. That to get out of the U.S. to go visit, I had to get that, or they wouldn't let me board a plane. That's how much control they had then. Yeah. So sure, it's worse now. But yeah, me too. I even got the fucking uh, flu thing once. I guess it didn't do whatever damage there is to it. Didn't I didn't get done with that. I got done with something else. Yeah, well. Because, I mean, I would expect at my age, t- this time in life, I'd be deteriorating a little bit. You know, I'm, getting, I'm getting better instead of worse. So... Uh-oh. The Americans didn't sabotage me right. They did something wrong. And you know what? I had this brilliant business merge venture goddamn idea, and nobody wants to take it serious. They uh, laugh at me. Okay, so what's your business merge whatever, whatever? Well, let me ask you this. Do you like buffalo wings and beer? Not necessarily together. Okay, do you... All right, maybe not you. I I'll didn't know buffaloes pastor. had wings. I'll talk to the audience in the RLM for just a moment. No, yeah, they, they make those chicken wing things. They call them buffalo. And they had hooters. Ah, well, see, why do they call them buffalo wings? Because buffaloes don't have wings. I don't know. Why do they call you Mary? Because never Cause mind. Because <laughs> I, I, I'm definitely not. <laughs> So no. Why are you asking me questions that have no answer? Anyway, so <laughs> I, the other day I was sitting here with my game, and I was between games waiting for something to, to load or whatnot. And I thought, what would happen if Hooters merged with TSA? <laughs> Lord. Uh, it mm. would make traveling a whole lot nicer. And then look at all the money they could make off that. You know, you got a half naked girl meeting you at your thing, and she says, "Out oh, the invasive, uh, in, what is that? The invasive cavity search is just forty nine ninety nine. 
<laughs> oh, hey. Well, or you know, if she's, she's she, yeah, if she's a buxom broad and really short shorts and, and lots yeah, of cleavage showing. Marketing. They're oh, doing you, it all wrong. Have oh. you seen the unattractive people TSA hires? Yes, I've actually been through the some grope and tickle of, brigade a time or two. Some of those people should not report to work. They well, are unattractive. Ooh. maybe they should report so, to work doing an impersonation of the unknown comic. Yeah, but with my new idea, I think travel would go up. And if it didn't go up, at least they'd make a lot more money on TSA. Well, I tell you what, so, there would be an uh, awful uh, lot more people that would not pay to um, <laughs> avoid the, the uh, grope and yeah. tickle. <laughs> They would lose money there. For the, yeah, see, you you reverse it. You chop it. This is Jew shit. You chop 50% off, and then you give them a worse deal than they had for 100 Wow. So, yeah, but they don't know. They'll be back. They'll be back. The invas- yeah, the invasive cavity search, just forty nine ninety nine, And then you got this picture of this girl that's built like a shit house. Ta-da! There could be a line out the fucking door. Ah, the tips would be phenomenal because, you know, you've got all that foreign currency at an airport. Hey, what are you going to do with it? Give it to the Hooters girl. She just stuck her thumb up your ass. <laughs> yeah, that should be an extra 20 right there. It should. Yeah, it but should. See, when, when, when Bubba does it for free, people go, oh, geez, don't do that, Bubba. Yeah, but hey. if it was a nice-looking girl doing it with half clothing, oh yeah, I think it would work. Yeah, think about this, all you entrepreneurs out there in radio. <laughs> well, see, Grimmy has a question for you over here on the RLM. Not another question. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You need to ask her that question. No, wait a minute. Don't do that. Jeez. That's going to start her. Oh, I'm glad she went for a walk. <laughs> you said women plural, and I've been married for almost four years, so I can't answer that on the grounds. It may make my night bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. But uh, Sir didn't. <laughs> oh, she didn't? Oh, okay. But... <laughs> Well, there's a personal story that goes along with it, so oh. ah, I'm going to back out of this one. Next oh. question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're going back How out. How <laughs> do blind people know they're gay? I still want to know the answer to that one. Nobody they're, will tell me. Their dogs like let them know. Yeah, I, yeah it's like this. Oh, I told you I had a joke for you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to place this joke in Albuquerque, New Mexico. All right. Back in the 80s, I was hitchhiking through Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I was looking for a little job, so I needed some money so I could continue my travels. And there, behold, is a job. Guy's running a porn store. Oh. He says, yep, all you got to do is sell these and sell those, and I'll be in to collect and relieve you at a certain time, and you can leave. Uh Uh-huh. So my very first day, this little girl, kind of a nervous looking girl comes in and she's looking at dildos over in the corner and she says sir how much is this little itty bitty white vibrator and I looked at the price and told her uh-huh. ten dollars or something it was like that mm-hmm. and then she goes off and she says sir how how much is this great big black vibrator and I looked it up and I was like twenty nine ninety nine. And then she's still wandering around the store, and then she comes back a third time. She says, oh, my God, how much is that great big plaid vibrator? I said, I'll give you that one for 100 bucks." So she buys it, leaves the store. Guy comes in to relieve me, and he says, oh, wow, what do you think your job? I said, well, I'm retiring. I made 100 bucks off my thermos, and I can finish getting where I'm going to now. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. No, I didn't say it was like Thor. I just said it was a joke. I know, I know. And I'm going, oh, Lord. Yeah. It's a, t- well, when you can make 100 bucks off a thermos, you can afford to hitchhike east, let me tell you. Ah, there you go. I used to do that shit in the day. It was a gas. You yep. used to fill thermoses? I don't want to know. <laughs> Sell. <laughs> <laughs> didn't say I filled it with anything. <laughs> 
Wow. That could get me in all kinds of compromising situations. <laughs> I told you it was a joke. Placed it in Albuquerque in honor of the New Mexicans. In Albuquerque? Oh, you know what? I decided the other day. What? I, mean, I wrote it down because I thought it, legal is a state of finance. Ah. Mm-hmm. Have you ever noticed that in your daily life when you look around and you go, wow, it's illegal to do this. And the fine is. <laughs> and the fine is. And that's the point. Everything has a fine. Ah, well, yeah. Well, fine. Well, fine. That's not a, fine. Okay. How is that a punishment? Well, it's taking money that you would normally spend on something else like filling thermoses. <laughs> well, yeah, but, all right. When you think, okay. Yes. When, when you think about finance in terms of punishment, does is that really is that really what we've been trained to believe that if the system demands we pay a fine for a, a miss uh, for not following a rule, that that's okay. They get money for us not being obedient little dogs. Oh, yeah. Led me to legalism at state of finance. It's a fiction just like everything else. It's all make-believe. Well, yeah. Once they legalize something, then they can charge you. Oh, hey, this license and legal. Oh, what are we going to do? You know what? What? I'm thinking of becoming a communist. Really? You know... No. I was listening to uh, the video attached to that uh, worldtruth.tv thing that yeah. I did last night about uh, um, something from 50 years ago and how it's re still relevant today. And um, he was saying that when the Bolsheviks were first, you know, coming into power or doing all of their fun stuff over there in Russia, the Rothschilds um, convinced them to change their name to communists. Because Bolshevik was entirely too Russian of a word, and only the Ro uh, the Russians uh -huh. would truly understand it. Whereas, if you change it to communist, it would have a global impact. And I thought, mm -hmm. wow, these some bitches are really far thinking assholios. Yeah, you these, know? Th these ideas are all presented to us through either wavelengths or you read it, right? Mm-hmm. So what I got so much out of Miller doing that explanation of what the straw man is mm -hmm. was more it was about the, the misdirection of how we speak to each other and what words mean today as opposed to what they really mean. And being modern people, we don't know that the language was bastardized and hijacked and misappropriated in, in ways that we're not taught. So we can't even identify them to be problems. Hmm. Just like, hey, go back to Clinton every time. Define, it depends on your definition of what your definition of is is. And that tells you right there. It's the resonance of the sounds or the order of the words. These things make a difference, but we're not taught that they make a difference. So we speak like we do. Mm, yeah. Well, look who take. Hey, look at who takes the ass kicking when they correct you on the internet. The grammar Nazi. Not the 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 majority that misuse the grammar, but the people that go, "Hey, you're using it wrong," because their approach is bad. Mm. See, we're not. That's what I mean. We're taught all these things so poorly that when we disagree, we don't even know how to disagree with each other without getting into an argument about it. Ah. Oh, you could have rode Wayne's ass all night, five o'clock in the morning, and he would have been justified. Yeah, you got, I got this coming. I did a dumb thing. But <laughs> you didn't. You, you did it on the radio, and it was funny. <laughs> he laughed. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I mean, because you weren't cruel, you weren't insulting, you were making light of a, something that could have just gone horribly wrong, but, yeah, you rolled with the punches like nobody I know. Uh, well, you know, you get, you learn to roll with them when you get enough of them thrown at you, you know what I mean? I mean, you got to roll and duck and weave and bob and, and just kind of go, uh, the, that's your best shot. 
bring it <laughs> back, back to yeah but back to interpretation it's all a matter of the person involved and then we see it we being your listening audience how we see it mm -hmm. and sometimes the way i see something hasn't got anything to do with what you said it's how i heard what you said ah uh, yeah yeah because yeah. you're not you're not in the room with me so i don't really yeah. hey grimmy said i'm the grammy nazi <laughs> Whoa. She's a grubby I get Godzilla to crush you. <laughs> <laughs> I get to be the Grammy Nazi. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> hey, you know what? Did I what? tell you about my new Thursday? Uh, I do like little things on certain days. Okay. And one of the things I do on Thursday involves you. Oh. And that thing is I get up in the morning and I have a cup of coffee with my wife. Sometimes mm -hmm. she has to go to work. Uh-huh. And sometimes she don't. Well, if she stays home, I do it a little later. But when she goes to work, when she leaves, I put your show on so I can hear it. Uh huh. And on mines, I found this little group of varmints. They got their own radio program. Uh huh. And let me open this up and see what it's called. Uh, I think it's called Rebels at the Round Table. They're even on YouTube. You know, they've got a YouTube spot and the whole thing. And it's a small audience. I think they had like 60 people listen to them. But. They're uh, Republicans, they're status, and they have um, real, what do you call it, racist opinions. They're guests in the, the crew that works the show, and they're funny as fuck. I would recommend you, li I'll send you a link, little missy, so you can catch them too. Oh, okay. But they're on, they're on the minds. It's called uh, Rebels, Around the Round uh, Rebels at the Round Table, I think. Ah. I will. Proceed to follow up on this and send you a link. Oh, okay. look at that. Remember when I, last year I couldn't send you a link without blowing something up? Yeah. I'm making progress. <laughs> <laughs> progress good. Yes. Okay. Mm. Well, you know, I'm not a racist because I belong to two different races, so I could never choose. And, uh, but I grew up with a lot of racists and a lot of people that didn't like people because of their race. So for to sit around people that don't like niggers and say it out loud for two hours is not it's not a new thing for me. Ah. Okay. Just because I don't agree with the mentality behind it doesn't mean that the rest of the story doesn't have any value. True. You know? Yeah. But. I mean, I don't think I'd associate with a guy with, that was like that on a social basis, but to listen in, to the stories that he was relaying on through the radio was really good. And he is an, uh, kind of uh, Scottish or, an, or a Scottish or a British twat. I couldn't tell. Mm -hmm. He talks real fast and he's got a real <laughs> voice, but it was entertaining. So uh -huh. I give him on my scale of one to ten, I will give them a. Clear seven. A clear seven, huh? That's right. Not seven point two. Not seven point six. Ah. Seven. That's right. I've spoken. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know how often I get I get to find something I like. Very rare. I'm usually not impressed. Hmm. But this is, uh, and the reason I bring it up is to hear them. Is it's like they're the people I'm against. They're Trump supporters. They want to lead. They they want to save people from the evil of society. But what they don't know is they're trying to use the same game that got them where they're at now, and it will never work. True. Well, they haven't got that far yet. That's not my problem. But they've gotten far enough away to know there's something wrong. But they're still playing the side of the coin that's wrong, not that the coin is fucking garbage. You know, what side of the coin you like is better than the other. No, it's still a coin. Yeah. Vote for me. I will lead you to salvation. And my question was always, well, if you're going there, where the hell are you now? How can you take me somewhere you're not? Ooh, hey. These questions I asked were not asked by other children. 
the other children said, wow, you're strange. Well, because other children, you know, children just don't know enough to be tactful. <laughs> and I, was, I was young, 12, 13, 14, young, you know. Still, you you don't you barely know what hole to pee out of yet, and you're out there saying shit to adults. So I'd question him instead of telling him things. I'd ask him things, and they'd go, "Wow, can you go away?" <laughs> Never mm, mind. Yeah, yeah. People did not want to answer the shit I I was asking then, and it's really not much different than what I'm asking now. Ah. Oh. Uh, you know what guy? Oh, go, old Gaddafi killed. What? I, I finally seen I seen an old link from 1980. CBS had interviewed uh, Muammar Gaddafi, and they put this little 10-minute clip together uh, of him and his country and his leadership and whatnot. And in the first three freaking minutes of the thing, he's sitting down telling them, I am a sworn enemy of Israel. Anybody in Israel that or in uh, Palestine that's got there after 1947 that's Jewish needs to go. <laughs> They don't belong there. That is not Israel. That is Palestine. Yes, and it they, is. they couldn't do him in for that. So they took 20, 30 years and built their little stories around his the way he lived and how he treated his people. And they made sure that the American public got uh, the exact opposite of the truth, as they often do. Yes. And, wow, they took out. Now, not to say that a leader isn't a piece of shit. What I'm saying is this guy wasn't the piece of shit that they portrayed him to be towards his own. He was a piece of shit towards Israel and America, and that wasn't going to last. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've heard people say all kinds of crazy things on all these sites that I use for you know, entertainment and whatnot. And boy, when people are wrong, they don't want to know it. <laughs> no. And they really, they, really dislike you for pointing it out. Yeah, yeah, because I'm a muzzy lover, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> hey, one of the first things that ever happened to me is somebody attacked me and started chopping off my parts. Ew. I wasn't even old enough to fight back yet, and they was already cutting me up, so top oh, no. that, motherfucker. And, and they was cutting it off of very vital right, parts. <laughs> right out of the womb. We're taking that. You will not have that. You don't need that. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, I've, I've been attacked since I was in the womb, Miss Marriott. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 But, boy, do I know how to eat a burrito. Uh, <laughs> I can enjoy a burrito as a Jew and a Mexican. Can you? <laughs> no. But I can... Actually, the other night, I had burritos. I had uh, yep. burritos with chili on top. And they were very okay. yummy. Because I had leftover chili. So, yeah. This Last Stuff night I had seafood. I see food, I eat food, and by the time we got home, my belly hurt so bad. Wow. <laughs> uh, it was an nah. all-you-could-eat buffet because, you know, it's it's Lent yeah. over here, or it's Lent wherever there's Christians, I guess. It's Lent, but or Catholics or whatever the hell. I don't... I'm so small, they can't even make any money off me. Oh, I'll tell you what. They had all <laughs> this different fish, and they had shrimp. Oh, wait. And then no, they I also had they also had waffles. <laughs> were they like, burnt waffles? No, or they were weren't. They, just regular waffles? they were just regular waffles, and they well, were very that, tasty. That's no good. Uh, they got to be burnt. No. There's a reason for that. I'll tell you about the burnt waffles someday. <laughs> Maybe do it on the dork table. Just not ready to tell that story just yet. <laughs> mm, not, okay. Yeah. But I will tell you this story. I, I you know what flea markets are and. Uh, you remember the old drive-in theaters? Yeah, they, they used still to got, call them. They still got they them. Used to, okay, well, they well, I don't know. I haven't been home in California in a long time, but they used to have the swap meets in the seventies. Mm-hmm. And I was a frequent um, swap meet seller, so I would load up a truck full of stuff and go down to to the swap meet, go to have a meal or something at the restaurant. Well, one night. I decided I wasn't going to sell anything. I think I'll just go out to the restaurant and uh, 
somebody had some mushrooms. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, we're sitting there 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'm trying to pick up this BLT sandwich. This is back when I was still eating ham, and uh, I couldn't pick it up. Oh. Every time I was having this, like, I was pick it up, it would fall out of my hands. I'm laughing. People are looking. You know, they're, they're drunk, and we're on mushrooms, so it was kind of cool. Like an evil play, you know, playing field. But the more I tried to eat, the less it would work because that was the trip I was on. And I just couldn't get my hands to grip that fucking sandwich. Oh, that sucks. And, well, yeah, but it was my, per- you know, nobody else knew what was going on except yeah. me. And it was making me laugh. Well, and there you go. That's, that is a perfect example of how nonviolent and just goofy you are when you're on all these crazy drugs the media hypes up. Uh-huh. Oh, you're going to get high and go out and shoot 90 people. No, you're not. The last thing you would do when you're high is load a gun and go kill somebody. True. True. But it yeah, is the yeah. demon weed, and it will get you. It will get you, I, my pretty. I don't. I don't think Rob Works or Grimmy would do that. They would smoke. They're smokers of the devil's lettuce, so they say. Mm. You know, I think there's a definite division between violence and, and smoke. Drugs. The evil drugs that they tell us not to use. Yeah, well, you know, they don't want you using those evil drugs that are not produced by Big Pharma. But yes, you must. these are good drugs. That that come no, from so, big yeah. pharma. Well, you know what I like the what the what the system does with word definition to fit their purpose. Yeah. Because they've managed to c- clump cannabis into drugs, and I think at so at one point when drugs were new, that was man-made stuff. That wasn't nature. It was made clear that wasn't nature. How do you mix nature with laboratory? <laughs> Only if you're an evil genius. Exactly. So you're doing something wrong, right? Right, right from the gate. It's all a bunch of crap. Is this like a white association kind of thing? You know, how do you oh, do? Uh, uh, hey, evil Grimmie. genius. Let's ask Grimmy. Hey, Grimmy, type me ten words, and and I want to play those words against Miss. Well, then you'll see them first. Now that won't work. Yeah. Damn it, circle left. I have to do this by myself. You know what? You tell us an interesting story about Wayne while I <laughs> 10 minutes or no, five, five, I'll, ten minutes. I'll Let just tell you, ten. none your business. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then I'll tell Not in 40 years of smoking Wayne. pot have I ever had the urge to go out and shoot anyone. I, yeah, I believe that Rob works. I, you know, there have been times when I have had the urge to shoot someone, but it's usually when I have a garden hose or a Nerf gun in my hand, and someone just <laughs> nailed me in the ass, and it's like, oh, you little shit. <laughs> a weapon of mass destruction, the garden hose. No, it, well, it's a, yeah, it's a weapon of ass destruction, because I soak we your make, ass. I soak yeah, your ass. We make lousy warmongers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. And I'll tell you what, my, my dippy dog, Bubba, good God, I turned the sprinkler on, I... I got my sprinklers out the other day, and um, I yeah, I had it going on the front hold, yard, and Bubba went on. walking up to the sprinkler and just kind of stood over it with his mouth open. <laughs> it's like, you are such a dork, dog. My God. Yeah, so. but Grim asked about the ten words, and I wanted him to know if he te- if he writes them, then you'll see them, and I'll take all the fun out of it. Oh, uh, well, that's I, true. I want you to be surprised. And the only rule that I want this game to have is that the words have to be in a common language. You don't have to know what they mean or anything. I just got to say them to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay? It could be names, any, you know, a name of a place, a person, a thing, a, an action, any word. But you got to, it's the only level thing is it should be in English. The answer and the question. Ah. Who's that? That sound, and I've got some, I got a goodie for the first one already. <laughs> oh, there you go. See, Rob Work said once when he was on meth, he almost beat some guy with a pool stick. And I got to yeah. admit, um, although I really, I still really don't remember doing this, but from what I was told by several people that were there when it happened, 
my 18th birthday, I was um, at a bar and <laughs> imagine that and um i was wearing a new halter top and i was playing pool and i was delivering a pitcher of beer for uh to a table and someone come up to me and grabbed the middle of my halter top and broke the little ring that held it together which really pissed me off because i spent of course this was lots of years ago and I spent like ten dollars on that halter top, so I was really pissed. <laughs> you know, and he broke that ring, and the girls were out for all to see. And apparently, I do. You know, I apparently the pitcher of beer connected with one side of his head, and the pool cue that I had in my other hand connected with the other side of his head. And then several people had to go and grab me because I started kicking the shit out of him. I was not happy. <laughs> I hadn't wow. even been drinking yet. I mean, it was like, you know, just that's how my my celebrating my 18th birthday started out. I was not a happy camper. But I do remember someone walking me back from Main Street. And I remember this because I remember punching a light pole because I was still really, really mad. And um, they took me back there the next day and showed me where I punched the light pole. And I don't know if I put that dent in it or not. But I, I was quite angry at the time and the cops showed up at the bar which is why they took me walking because they didn't want me to get arrested <laughs> Whoa. but the guy that pulled my halter top off of me and and the buddies that were with him they did get Ooh. arrested so that was not a very nice night no but you know that's wow. that's the only time that and there was one other time where i just and it was at bars which is pretty much when i decided i don't need to go to bars because mm. whether I'm drinking or not, bad things happen at bars, and I just need to not go there. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, they do. Not, yeah. It's one of those. If it could, it will. Yeah. 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 If it's going to be at a bar and it's going to be bad, eh, it's likely it'll happen after about nine o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. The trouble starts to spread after the last drink is thrown. <laughs> Ah. Some people should not drink alcohol. I'm telling you. Yeah. And I may be one of those people where too much makes, ooh, you know, but I drink enough to feel happy and then that's that. I don't just keep drinking until I'm beating on somebody or trying to. See, and but I, I do yeah. believe that's where it would go. Yeah. Would, yeah. Because ah, you get all stupid and out of control. See, and when I drink, I either get really, really, well, since I've been doing my essential oils, I have one beer and I'm ready to go to bed. It just doesn't, alcohol just really knocks my ass out now. But back before I started doing the oils and all that other fun shit, um, I, um, I, when I would have a few beers or, or have a vodka or whatever, um, I would get to where I was really funny and I was an amazing dancer and a, absolutely splendiferous singer just ask me i'll tell you <laughs> i was i'm one of those kind of drinkers cool yeah i have there's yeah there's five reasons to not do it and that's what i, I keep saying about pot nah now if you mix anything with alcohol you're going to get the same crazy results but if you do these things individually the results are different it's like any other thing where you add certain chemicals into these other chemicals, you get reactions. And if you don't add these chemicals with those chemicals, you get a different reaction. Mm -hmm. And alcohol just brings the hatred out of some of us real bad. And I'd be one of them, so we try to not do too much of that. <laughs> well... I try to, you know, an, the occasional beer or the occasional couple of sips of wine. I really can't do wine. And once in a while, once in a while, I will actually have a real adult beverage, like something with either vodka or... I can't do any kind of, any kind of, you know, like whiskeys or any of that stuff. Okay. Now, what I did was I went to my loading page where uh -huh. I have all my, uh, like, YouTube and tells me which where I can open up stuff. Uh-huh. And, and it had links to pick from. So what I did was I started with one word on purpose that I picked out of all the words on my own. Uh-huh. The other nine 
I looked at a word and wrote it down. Oh, okay. So I have no idea what any of this is going to end up with, but let's try word misassociation. Ah, hey, Vinny's here. Vinny! Yeah, I I said hey. Oh, well, I'm slow on the uptake. (laughs) They don't call me Flash because of nothing, little missy. <laughs> you're, a, you're a quickie, huh? <laughs> yeah. I, my wife's back, so I don't know. You have to ask my wife. <laughs> okay. There you go. There you okay. go. Okay. Now, are you prepared? For, I have no idea what's going to happen here, but Pascagoula. Pascagoula. Yeah. It's a city in Mississippi. I've been there. Pascagoula. See, and the first thing I thought Nothing. of when you said Pascagoula is I thought of a musical. You know, like, like, <laughs> almost like, um, you know, oh, Oklahoma, where the wind yeah. comes sweeping around the plains. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, that's what Pascagoula brought to my head was musical. <laughs> okay. Take me I'm, to Pascagoula. <laughs> yeah, let's call it for this. For the sake of it, we'll call it music. Right? Okay. So by, I'm writing this down here for okay. future reference to see if we should ever do this again. <laughs> <laughs> the second word, the first word I saw, you're going to crack you up probably, but ready for this? Uh-huh. Word number two, balls. <laughs> Bubba. <laughs> I told you to crack you up. Bubba. It was the first, I read it, I read this thing. Balls right there in my eye. So I wrote it down. Yeah, Bubba. Cause every, yeah. Bubba. Yeah, because every time <laughs> I step ball. outside, there's Bubba with the, the ball. Uh, you, so you innocent little. Th- you're not a dirty girl. Okay. Tortoise. Word number three, tortoise. Slowpoke. <laughs> Slowpoke. Okay. Oh, I was making a joke about who was that? Uh, remember the rabbit and the hare? Yeah, the tortoise and the hare. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, it reminds me of, of politi- political things going on right now. Mm-hmm. Slowpoke. Yeah, I've got a, it's kind of a unique way of looking at society, I've been told. Mm-hmm. Nobody quite sees what I see when I look at it. And I see the old rabbit and the hare thing coming on. And the rabbit's running, and he's all out front and everything, and the turtle's back way behind going, doom, doo 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 yeah, well, you know, he's slow and steady and gets it done. You know, do it right the first time and you don't have to do it again. The rabbit's going to get cocky in a few months and he's going to lay down and take that horrible nap mm-hmm. that always makes him lose the damn race. Yeah, and well. We, we've seen it so many times. It's never. Don't take my pen, you crazy wife. And uh, here we go through the routine one more time. Mm hmm. Well, you know, one of these days that damn cocky ass rabbit is going to be a little bit too cocky. And out here when that happens, it winds up Mm. taking a dirt nap because it runs across the road when a car is coming. It's like it wound up being a speed bump. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just weird. You see slow poke and I saw politics, tortoise Mm. and the hare thing. And, you know, the guy in front is going to get all cocky and lay down and show off to the crowd. And the tortoise is going to whip his ass in the end. Yeah. Well, that's what okay. happened to Shitlery. Well, uh, see, then again, I, is this not just a performance and they're, they're just playing out a ha- like a, a book? It's like a play. Well, yeah. Wasn't it Shakespeare that said all the world's a stage and we are know. all but actors? I not Shakespeare. Did you know him? No, I didn't know him. But I've heard he's been credited with lots and lots of really way cool, you know, things. Kind of like Nostradamus. I do remember seeing Nost- yeah. a Nostradamus quote where he said, don't trust everything on the Internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It just it, the way things play out are just too perfect for destruction. You know, to be this good at hurting people takes a lot of work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, it, even a blind squirrel cops a nut in the forest. That's true. Anyway, word number four. Word. Word. Refolts. R- w- what? Bolts. Bolts? Revolts, you female. Femme fettle. Femme fettle? Revolts. Oh, oh. Like, 
unvolts, at volts, two volts, revolts. Revolts. <laughs> I don't huh. fucking know. Revolts? I thought you spoke English when we started. That was one of the <laughs> damn original agreements we made. You're going to use English. <laughs> I didn't say you could use merry talk. I said English. <laughs> Agreed upon. <laughs> Same language. <laughs> okay. Did I say it clear enough? Re- that revolts. revolts. Okay. Like I just did. Uh, I just revolted against your, what what would you call it, regime. My, oh. my regime revolted against your regime right now in a fit of anger over a word. Oh, see, and <laughs> and when I when I hear revolts, I just think of nauseating, like oh, revolting. Nauseate. That's kind of a fun way. Hey, maybe next week I'll use your words that you tell me, mm. and we'll see what you come up from those next time. That oh. could be kind of fun. All right. Ready for word number five. Okay. Bed. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. I just saw it and wrote it. Don't know why. Cat. You'd like that one. Cat. Cat? Yeah. Is that just a nice way of saying the P word? (laughs) No, no, no. Because as soon as I, well, okay, the cat pretty much owns the bed. And oh, and she damn. she pretty much you know yowls and talks and all that fun stuff until I make the bed when I get up in the morning so that she can occupy the middle of the bed. So uh, yeah, when you say bed, I think cat. You're a trained. You are, you're very well trained. Human. Yes, I am. I'm a I am a good human for her. Doctor Cooper will sleep outside in the damn snow, but when he sees the somebody up and about, he wants to come in the house to eat. And the damn cat will not go upstairs unless I go with him. Oh. If anybody's here, I got to walk up the stairs and take him in there to his room where he feeds. It's a very strange relationship. Me and this cat have. Ah. I think behind my back he calls me nigger. But I can't prove it. Well, maybe I could prove it in Admiralty Court. <laughs> I'm Hell, wondering. For the right price. Do... I could prove you're a man in an admiralty court. Oh well, there you go. I'm just, I'm Fine. just wanting to know: Do Peking ducks have slanty eyes? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a duck. <laughs> uh, do Peking ducks have <laughs> circle? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay. Should, I'm glad she doesn't know what Grimm started this out with. Ooh, boy, I'd be so embarrassed if my wife knew that Grimner said, ah. do all women laugh at you when you show them what you got there? No, oh. do all women laugh when you drop your pants. That's what. <laughs> see, I told you. It was a dead seat. <laughs> told you not to tell her. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Former. Former? Uh huh. Hmm. Uh, former. Ooh. Wow. You're a slow word association player. Well, that I just totally drew this a blank. Like, former. Yeah, this is like Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll sell you. An, I'll sell you an R for twenty bucks. <laughs> See and. And the okay, I got to go with with the first thing that actually really thought because yeah, it was like yeah, this yeah. popped into my head, and then I went what, and then it ran away, okay. and now it's back again. Um, okay. So former, I'm I was thinking, you know, like like mold, you know, like mold. someone okay. someone someone yeah. puts it in a mold. Oh, so M- they're forming it. M O U. That's M O L D, right? Yeah. M O L because mold M O U is the disgusting shit you scrape off the surface but well no i think they're both spelled the same m-o-l-d are you i'm really a bad speller i play trivia and get my butt stomped every sunday okay Mm. i'll know what i know it's only the same word i'll read it that way mold m-o-l-d yeah yeah okay well are you moldy no but i can be molding You, you it depends control? on what kind of suffix you put on there. See, I I'm a Grammy Nazi. Damn it. Yeah. Do you have control issues? Do you do you stand and salute yourself in front of the mirror for practice to make sure you're doing it correctly? Oh hell no. <laughs> I look mm-hmm. in the mirror and I go, "Who is that old lady in there?" 
<laughs> Whoa, I was thinking about that earlier today. <laughs> Not for myself so much, you know, because I don't, I don't feel all that old, but years-wise, to some people, fuck, I'm a dinosaur. Yeah. You know, to a 20 or a 30-year-old, jeez, they should have buried me 10 years ago. And you, hey, you're still walking around. What the fuck is going on here? Yeah, well, the universe has got a trick to play on somebody yet, so that's yeah, what I see, keep the key, saying. I think the key to the whole damn thing is keeping your mind uh, aware. Yep. Not stuck in some rut. Like I could relive my 20s or something and why are things so different? Look at the world today. Blah, blah. It's the same fucking world it was when I was in my 20s. It's just more people know the truth about how it works today. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, some of the things that since I left America in the last few years, some of the things that people would actually tell me to shut up about are now a matter of common knowledge. Yeah, and now they tell you to shut up about other Thank things. You. Isn't it great? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't I don't really do what I'm told. Well, I do everything I'm told, but I only do a few things I'm told not to. Oh. Ah. You know, to balance the books. I, I don't like to tilt to one side. I, I like to be unpredictable. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Ready for word number seven there, little missy? Sure. Obama. <laughs> Dangleberry. <laughs> Dangleberry. Good Lord. He really is. He's just I he's, know. I he's know. just a little dangleberry on the backside of humanity. And you know what? I never thought he was all that smooth. I mean, if they wanted a smooth black guy, they should have got Marvin Gaye. You know? Well there or even he, well, who was James Brown would have been a hell of a president. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. get down and all that shit up there in the White House. And he'd have a real woman that people want to look at and shit instead of that Michelle woman. Yeah. Instead oh, they got a... she was a train wreck. Yeah. Oh, my God. Instead they got a deeply tanned pork pig. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Without the prompter, he couldn't... He spoke worse than I do. Ooh. Because I make this up as I go. There's no script, so I stutter and stammer on occasion. Can't find a word... Sound like a complete dork, but this is the dork table, not the White House. Nobody came here for leadership. You know? Yeah. Nobody came here for anything more and have a giggle and get on with their day and do something different for a few minutes. Word number eight. Okay. Sign. Sign? Mmm. Cosine? I thought words would come fast. Yeah, but I thought words would come faster to you. You thinking about it? Cosine, right? Uh huh. Well, that's the first uh, thing that popped uh, into that, my head, that... and then I thought about it, and then I went, "Yeah, just say it. Just uh, say it." Oh, now you're playing games with me. You're gonna pick and choose your words. Well, some <sighs> things just kind of pop in there, and then other things, it's like, "Well, yeah, no, just say it." Okay. So, word number nine. Okay. Main. What? Main. Main, as in like Main Street? Ah, there you go. Main. Street. Main vein, Main Street. I don't know. Whatever perverted crap you come up with is okay with me because this is the dork table. We're not shy here, little missy. Oh, Miss Soikles said, when you said signed, she said, sealed, delivered, I'm yours. <laughs> See? Say she likes you. I worked that, yeah, I worked that Jewish magic on her every time. <laughs> you Jewy bastard. <laughs> I don't know. It's a, it's a gift. I, I think my, my real name is like Seymour or some shit like that, and, but my dad didn't like it. So he went, nah, oh. we're going to go with the Mexican shit. Fuck that Jew shit. Well, you do see more bias. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your word for Maine there, little man? I said street. Maine street. Well, that was bleh. I think I'm going to rate these on a scale. And balance <laughs> it out. We're going to come out of it and not win. <laughs> well, you okay. told me to just say and, it. Uh, so I did. I will. It was an experiment. See if we okay. could do a funny thing. On, well, where's on, number on 10? The sperm of the... Ready? Yeah. Dentified. Dentified? I did. You oh, dork. I did. I did. 
the fuck language are you hearing me in? <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Help. <laughs> Am I speaking in English? What? What's wrong here? It's like three words. You what the hell did you just say? <laughs> we agreed on English. <laughs> My English no good for you. <laughs> oh, I, did, I see how you I, are, white girl. I, <laughs> oh. I didn't hear the I. I just heard dentified, and I'm thinking Fuck somebody put I... divots in their head? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it's just fucking cheap Skype we use. <laughs> Identified. Okay. Yeah. Um, fingered. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> that was the best one so far. Wow. You <laughs> I don't know what it means, but it was funny. <laughs> My wife is over here going, ooh. <laughs> Point it out. Fingered. Hey, he don't was say pull it out now, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> gonna get us in trouble. <laughs> Boy, help. And I look <laughs> on to the RLM chat, and what do I see? <laughs> Your wife calling oh. me a dirty goyle. I'm a dirty girl. <laughs> <laughs> goyle. <laughs> That's it. You're entitled. This, this is, hey, after last night, you did need a giggle. Oh, yes, I did. You know, because, well, there's a strange, uh, I would call it, uh, a good feeling that I get helping people, uh -huh. even when sometimes helping them inconveniences me. You mm. know, it depends on the person. Some people I don't like enough <laughs> to go out of my way to do them a favor when I don't want to. I got to want to for some people and other people. I would go, okay. Uh, I'm uh, reading what Free Enslaved said. I ooh. always opt for tulips on my organ rather than roses on my piano. <laughs> that sounds like a blowjob joke to me. <laughs> Am I correct? Is that the blowjob joke? <laughs> <laughs> tulips I are flowers. I want to know. Tulips yeah, are flowers. But, I'm just wanting well, to know, is better. it a pedal organ? <laughs> oh, now you have questions. I will stay oh. out of this one. Or is it a pipe organ? <laughs> <laughs> Mary's, Mary's on tilt. <laughs> Please slave massacred Mary on the dark table. On moves 3, 24, 20, yep. and 18. He flipped the tilt switch. Yep. Wow. You know, we got to start thinking about <laughs> kind of world we're going to leave behind, Keith. I just it's... read circle sing. <laughs> uh -oh. Blind man going through a fish market takes yeah, a big I sniff. Know, Hello, too. ladies. <laughs> Oy. Oh, that's okay. just too funny. Okay, oh, I got, I got, I got to make up for my first joke. Didn't get it, so I got another. <laughs> And it's it runs along the lines of what my just, my wife just wrote on the table there. Oh, okay. And it goes like this. Back back in the eighties I was working at a at a lumber yard and we had this old blind guy who was kind of a you know, he'd been around there for years and went blind and they just didn't have the heart to move him anywhere. So they let him stick around. Uh huh. And but he had a talent. He had this nose and he could identify any kind of wood you could run under that nose, he'd tell you what it was. Ah. Yeah, yeah, and it, people would challenge him. Well, one day the sales staff got together and they went into town and they got old Bessie the whore. And they ah. brought her back. Ah. And stripped her down naked and they run her under his nose. And for a fleeting moment, we saw just the, the concern on his face. He says, Wait a minute, fellas. I, I don't think I recognize that. Run that back under my nose one more time. So they turn her upside down and they run her under his nose. And you could just see his eyes watering and just this face is looking. <laughs> and he goes, Oh, by God, you fuckers almost had me, but I know the shithouse door off a tuna boat when I smell one. <laughs> <laughs> She's still laughing. I don't know what to <laughs> What, honey? <laughs> I, I just 
dropped I just dropped in the polls at Flashco. <laughs> <laughs> my, my wife did, my wife didn't like the joke. <laughs> Ouch. Ooh well. No tuna helper for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not necessarily a bad thing. But No, but the joke is just so vile. Yeah, well. Yeah. I what I once told a guy. I said I know the most. Dis- I'm not gonna even tell it. It's so bad. I will not tell it on this show. But I do. I'll tell you in private sometime. But I know the most disgusting joke ever told. Ah. Well, and it is so bad. And I'm telling you, it's so bad. After you say it, even though you're laughing, you feel bad about laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Those, you go, wow, I can't believe I'm so disgusting. I laughed at that. <laughs> <laughs> and for just nineteen ninety nine, email me. I'll tell you what the answer to that is. <laughs> See how us Jews do this? We bait you with nothing. And then we go, eh, for twenty bucks, I'll tell you what it means. Ah. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know what the latest rash of shit on the on the interwebs has been lately, Miss Mary? What's that? The Jews. Oh yeah, them them and, they're chewy no, bastards. I, I've heard you talk about it on your show too, but and not to say that the Jews aren't evil, but we're you know all of us that do what the Jews do are like that. You got to know what you're doing in life. And not really go around blaming other people for what you do. And yeah. And it's that self-responsibility thing. And it's not because I'm a Jew that I'm concerned. It's the it's the behind it where you're putting your self-responsibility on the back of somebody else you don't even fucking know so that nobody will look at you and call you an idiot for doing it. Yeah. Because I think, hey, you want to charge me what? Interest? To do borrow money? Are you insane? I'll break something down and sell the pieces off before I borrow money and pay it back with interest. That's insanity. You know? And but then I found out, hey, that's my nature. Ah. <laughs> I'm bound to that shit by some kind of secret mental wavelength. It's quite frightening. Ah. But it doesn't make sense to me as a as a living man. I think, wow, that's just a fucked up way to treat somebody over money. They need a hand, you help them. You don't make yourself richer off their collective stupidity. That's just fucking wrong. Well, and yeah. I'm related to these people. Oh, what am I going to do? <laughs> yeah, well, you know. That, I start a bank. Yeah, there are a lot of people out there that, yeah. Hey, we start a bank. The Jew bank. And when somebody brings me money, I can loan that money out. Wow, a thousand times. That's how it's done. It's a paper game. It's all done in secrecy and mis- misrepresentation. Oh. Right in front of your face. You're so. And here's the part that pisses me off, right? Is we're so dumb that we don't know it. And then when somebody tells you, you go, wow, boy, was I dumb. I didn't know that. <laughs> either that or you go you lying bastard you know and want to uh, okay this uh, same no thing. there there are a lot of people out there that once you show them that they are r- 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 wrong <laughs> yeah, yeah I, then they then they wrong. get all ogreish on you mm-hmm. yeah well I, wouldn't you didn't you i know i was like hey what the fuck are you talking about this driver's license, man, it did da 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 No, it doesn't. That's just what they told you it does. Let me tell you what it really does. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, my life could have ended differently. I'm not saying ended uh, like the circumstances would be different had I taken a different path. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Gone straight, you know, that that perpendicular straight and narrow and sign all the things and cross all the T's and dot all the I's. Shit, I was filling out um, for kicks and, and shit. I would send applications in for uh, uh, like um, oil. What do you call them? The, the cards, credit cards oh. back in the 70s. Mm-hmm. And I'd, I'd sign the, like a rock musician's name to it. Oh, funny. Never got it. I never got anything, you know, accepted. But I had a lot of fun playing along. 
That would be fun. I hadn't thought of doing that. Well, see, the world really, truly does revolve around your signature. And now with the Internet, there's no more signature to use. Yeah. Where's your wealth on the Internet? Everybody is flat equal on the Internet, even though they think they're educated or they're smarter than or they're not living under a bridge tweaking. Whatever they're not doing, they're still doing something and they're still part of the system Mm -hmm. that they mock. Yeah, I don't I don't mock the system. I what I don't like about the system I live in is that people, whoever they are believe they have authority over me as a living me man i was going to say being and i changed my mind Mm. but well it depends on how seriously that you take this verbal game we play oh because laws are worth fuck all without somebody with a gun to enforce them no matter what they are I can tell you, you have to do this, that, and the other thing. And until I show up with a fucking gun to make you, you don't have to do anything. And still, after I show up, you don't have to do anything and go to jail. Yeah. Well, that's the kind of life that we have been raised and taught is acceptable. And then over the last 10 years, I've seen the change just tighten. Oy. Ch- road checks, inspections, drunk driver checks, legal weed in this state, illegal in that weed in, in that state, blah blah. What? How do you not realize it's just all a bunch of crap? Yeah. Because for some fucking reason, as human life, we believe the bit of dirt we're standing on dictates what you can do on it, regardless of your intention. These things will not be done or else. That's not freedom. Yeah. Because, you know, even when I'm doing the radio show, if the kids come over and, and when the women are in the kitchen and Ollie and and, uh, and Mer- Mickle are sitting on the couch, they're usually, you know, they get they try to be quiet and not, not make too much noise. And when they do, I just laugh with it. Mm-hmm. You know, instead of being a big Nazi and, hey, I'm on the radio, I just go, hey, hey, that was funny. And they go, oh, shit, we're, you're on the radio still. We forgot. Mm-hmm. It's they're not listening to me. I'm speaking English. So they'll be over there doing what they do. And I try to do that in life. But the Internet, that's where it's different for me. I don't know why. I don't like it either. Hmm. makes yeah it doesn't it doesn't bring me any kind of uh i don't know good whoopee feelings you know those good whoopee feelings you get when you do something that makes you feel good i don't get them when i fight on the internet ah well that sucks probably because it's not a face-to-face eye-to-eye kind of interaction Yeah, because in real life i surpassed that bullshit years ago I don't engage people in that kind of crap in the first place. It would never really happen. And my thing lately is, how? why is the Internet, does it get my attention in that way? That's where my mind goes. Maybe I missed the fight. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. What would make you, you you are so cool about that. How do you not get engaged in that drama? Because people like to drama, Mary, didn't you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Speaking of the, um, of the drama, maybe um, you could uh, oh, get a little... Oh, yeah. Come by shush, shush, my... shush. Stop that. But Stop it. Stop it. That is freaking disgusting. Time. No, I ain't polishing nothing of yours, you sick, chewy bastard. <laughs> you. <laughs> wow. Boy, you're just not a Henry Kissinger fan, are you? You know how much no. good that man did you? Did you know that without Henry Kissinger, we probably wouldn't be in uh, Syria right now? Uh, oh, darn. Darn. Well, you know, If it wasn't for Kissinger, yeah, wow. Well, mm. that's what I'm saying is they had to do steps along the way to prepare the public so they would willingly go along with this bullshit that they go along with. They have to believe it's true. Yeah. 
They have to be, feel threatened in some way. And I don't know. I never felt threatened by any of the shit I saw. And what I saw was Kissinger was just an arms dealer working with both sides trying to create a conflict. Well, yeah. That's, we that's how they roll. Like, you know, there's what? there are shit stirrers everywhere. And some of them just stir a bigger pot of shit. I've seen people verbally support fighting in Syria right now on other sites. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell, I've Why? spoken with and people I, that support it. And it's like, are you yeah. kidding me? And what I the hell did those why? people do to us? Nothing. Unwanted in, in the country completely. And yet there we are. Yeah. Well, not we, you. Ah, maybe not even you, them. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. What do I say, Miss Mary? I'm so confused. See how you are. You're so confused. Here, young man, just sit down, lay down on the chaise lounge, and we will talk about what's bothering you. Hey, isn't that that sex therapist woman? <laughs> Dr. Ruth Westheimer? I think so. Doctor, put it here and show it to me. I know. She looked about three foot tall. I mean, wow. Wow. It was not a pretty sight. Oh, I know, and, and I and I still rem voice. did you did you ever really like listen to any of her? I I remember seeing a video a YouTube video where she was giving sex advice to people, and um, I remember her saying something. And I, I don't remember the exact wordage, but it was like, oh, my God, I'm traumatized for life. And I still, I really am traumatized just thinking of this woman talking about how, um, you know, a man is uh, going to be able to please his woman when he brings her a dozen donuts and his hands are still free. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you that, know, that picturing this think... little old chubby munchkin. Yeah. <laughs> but that leads me to think that she was trying to have sex with a farm animal. Mm, yeah, she. I mean, you know, there's there's attractive, and there's God. That thing is so big. There's nowhere to put it. Yeah. So. Mm, Eh, all a matter of opinion, I suppose, but all that bigger and better bullshit, okay, if you say so. Whatever. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, a dozen donuts? Are you out of your fucking mind? You'd be out in the back 40 with Bessie the cow. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, but, you know. No just... woman could handle that. And I... The ones that could, you wouldn't want them. It'd be like, ooh. Yeah. So, uh, not excited on that concept, but, uh. Yeah, I just, voiced an uh, opinion from a dork's perspective. Ah. There you go. Well, to me, it was just the thought of this creepy old lady yeah, saying something well, like that. It's like, oh, go. good God. Wow. It shows you the power of the word and the, yes. the right people behind pushing your story. Yeah. That, you know, I remember it when Fox News came out. They used to have a disclaimer that on the bottom of the screen, it said this is an entertainment program. Oh, yeah. Way back. is I watched TV for a while somewhere. I can't remember what state I was in. But I do remember seeing that line come across the screen and say, this is entertainment. And over the years, I would hear, it's a news program. I'd go to the bar. They'd be playing it. I mean, Fox News. But it didn't say, this is entertainment only. Or this is entertainment, period, whatever it fucking said. Because yeah. it was never intended, they claim, to do what it did, and I think it was. I don't think anything that we get is 100% factual or true, or both. Yeah. Yeah, we get bits and pieces, you get a little truth, and then you get a lot of bullshit. You know what I saw that was fascinating here? Let me tell you about this one, little missy. Remember that uh, crapola that went on over with uh, France, and they had a whole bunch of shit going on around a bridge? Out in the daytime, right? Mm hmm And they had to, they blocked off the roads with big trucks and whatnot. Well, what I saw was a link that exposed that as a, an act done by the government and how they pulled it off and why all the privacy and how they accomplish, how they accomplish privacy right in the middle of a city. And it sounded kind of like, well, you're out there a little bit. And the more I think of it, 
the more something sounds out there a little bit at the end, it seems like that was the truth all along. <laughs> Cause yeah. I don't think Oswald shot Mr. Kennedy. No. Well, you know, it's like on, um, and, and I think men in black, of course there's lots of, Oh yeah. And that's another <laughs> one I need to talk about too. Okay. That reminded <laughs> me of something else. But you know, when they, when they talk about national Enquirer and that kind of stuff as the hot sheets, but that reminded me the other day, on uh, Netflix, I was watching um, um, James Colburn um, in Like Flynn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The old movie. Yeah, those were from the 70s, 60s or 70s. Late 60s, early 70s. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah, it was like, 70s. oh, my God, I haven't seen this one in years. So I'm sitting there yeah. watching it and just laughing at all the campiness. And um, at the towards the end, the guy that was playing the president while he was being dragged out of the control room or whatever, he yelled, don't let them fluoridate the water. And I was like, holy shit. Holy. I, you know, mm -hmm. I don't remember that from originally. I mean, I remember him yelling all kinds of nonsensical stuff, or right. my mind remembers yeah. it as nonsensical stuff, but wow. And I was sitting there, and I looked at Wayne, and I went, did you hear that shit? And he went, yeah. <laughs> it's like, holy crap, back in the 60s. Don't let yeah. them fluoridate your water. Speaking of fluoridating your water, you know what's on the interwebs right now as of today? What's that? That the government is finally going to listen to the opposition and take the fluoride away. Oh, really? Yeah, but again... Yeah, is this going to fact, be a, a gradual... I don't know. I, I didn't get that far involved in it. it. It's The point is is that they're poisoning you. They tell you they didn't know it. You believe it, and they stop it, so they say. Yeah. Nothing happens. Yeah. Society is too big to manage. There you go. Yeah, if it it's is. that big that you don't know what you're, you know, what's going on, then fuck it. It's time to go. And too many diehards got too much invested in staying. Yeah. You know? Yeah, the city's addictive. I lived in that city for a long time. I was a cityite. You might find that hard to believe. Yeah. Um, no, I don't. I don't like the city. I did in the day when I was a younger man. And as I got older, I went, wow, this, this stuff sucks. What's wrong with you people? And I had to realize I was one of them you people because I was there doing it. Yeah. So psh, out, nah, had to go. Went, nah, I can't, I can't survive in this. It was stifling and ugh. And then when I met Cirque, Cirque lived in a city. After I'd spent two and a half years on an island where there was so little traffic. I mean, you knew when traffic was going to be out by the time of day you were traveling in. <laughs> Just nothing, right? Yeah. And then I met Cirque, and she lived in Copenhagen. And I, I really liked the city as a city, but I felt that confinement start getting me right away. That crowded, too many people. You can't do anything without 5,000 people looking at you yeah yeah well i don't know how to explain it any better than that but when i was young i i was into that hey let's go out and do this let's go that and the older i got the further away from the kicks i wanted to be yeah but life didn't you know uh, i don't know i hear other people tell me oh i didn't have the choices you had and then Maybe you did. Who knows? Who knows what not what an opportunity is when it knocks? That's the the part of it that's elusive, is you don't always know what it is at the time you get it. Sometimes it looks like a nuisance or an inconvenience, and then months or days or years will go by, and you go, "Wow, I wish I would have took up on that when it happened, but I didn't know." Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. So. Now, because of my, I don't know, my curiosity in life, I never got to that question. I just go, yeah, I'll try that, or no, I ain't doing that for money. Fuck it. One or the other, it was never, I don't know. I can't do that because now that I'm married, I can see that. But 
unfortunately for me, I never had that until I was a full grown man. Is it unfortunate though? I mean, you know, every sure. well, time I yeah, look back at sense, yeah, it, it's just in a sense because I see Cirque with her family and the way they get along, and I never had that. So yeah, it is something that it's something to to want. Yeah, that you miss. Yeah, but, but then you just of, enjoy what you've got. Right, but recognizing it was a process I had to go through because yeah. I had no experience at it. So I had to learn what I'm doing as I went through it without breaking it. Yeah. Man, new cultures, you don't speak the language and people are different and there's no violence. That I haven't seen any violence. Um, I've seen like in Copenhagen, there was a few times the cops would be harassing somebody for being loud in the street drinking and singing you know ah oh, shut up come here let me see your id kind of crap but no violence yeah but in scotland there was a fight maybe once a month in one of the bars two people that grew up together are gonna punch each other in the face because of a uh eh, you said that punch okay yeah instant <laughs> well, asshole whatever. just add alcohol mm-hmm right yeah, I don't get it. Where, whereas I'm an instant amazing singer, dancer, joke teller, all that other fun stuff. Just add alcohol, cause yeah, just <laughs> ask me, I'll tell you. <laughs> I don't know. I did pretty good on the last joke. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right. Whoa, it is. I, you know what I got today? What? Because, because twisted fingers doesn't have you know the motivation. She offered me tea or coffee, so I had tea. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. oh Mr. Prim and Proper. I'm a very uh, nice guy. <laughs> and Once you know what? She just, handed me, she just handed me the magic stick. Ah. <laughs> Say, you want to drive? <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> that's because you ain't been to Denmark yet. When you get to Denmark... Things will happen. Oh, things, Ooh, things will have, happen. Yeah. Well, I wonder if we could trade you for something. <laughs> <laughs> Last time someone tried to do that, uh, an individual got out their checkbook and they were going to write the house payment, and I smacked both of them. So. Hey, remember when you were bragging about paying off your note in less years? Uh-huh. Other people have done that, too, and they're putting up links on how to do it. Yay! Yeah. Well, it's a start. I mean, it's yeah. not a cure. But I, I I think the a show or two back, right at the end when I usually ask a really important question that you can't say shit to because it's the end of the show. Mm-hmm. Okay. Th this has got my attention right now. All right. <clears throat> if you went to court. And you proved that your title deed was in fact fraudulent, and the bank did never have title to your land. Uh huh. Who did? I don't know that anybody does. Well, I'm I'm not asking you. I'm yeah. just making. This is the question I was leading up to when I brought it up a few shows back. Is uh huh. Well, if the bank never actually owned the property, they sold you. Who owned it? And if somebody else owned it, they couldn't have been too damn worried about it because they never came to call on you and say, hey, do you know you're on my land? <laughs> well, it's like uh, that one video that you uh, sent to me on Skype where he says that they use your own money to mm -hmm. loan you money because yes. the bank has no money. Right. So they use your own money to loan you money and then and then charge you interest on your money that they're loaning you. Yeah. It's in against order to... the banking regulations for them to loan you money that's in the bank as a savings. They can't use their depositors' money for that purpose. Yeah. They have to borrow it from themselves. And then they cancel the loan. That's the part I was always missing is how do they get that freaking money from the government? Well, they borrow it, and then they cancel the freaking loan. Or they sell it to someone else right off the bat. Well, okay, one Which basically of... cancels the contract. 
there well, however it's done, it is done in some freaky fucking way that we aren't used to using. We would never do a thing like that to people. Yeah. So we don't think that way. So we don't assume the bad guy is being a bad guy. We assume the bad guy is being an honest guy when he's never being an honest guy at all. He's been in you over table more than you'll ever know, more than he'll ever admit, or may, maybe even more than he even knows. You don't know what the left hand is doing in a business. Just You don't know everything about your business. And if you do, that's where you go to the top and you work less so you can make more money. Yeah. Well, and see, the way they do that stuff, it's you know, it's like the, the P game, you know, it's... They keep saying, okay, find the P, find the P, you know, and they're doing that shell game thing on you. And and that is combined with a circle jerk. And by the time you get it all figured out and right down to the wire, there ain't no circle jerk going on. You're the one jerking yourself. So Right, and, but how do you, okay, here we are fooling around with it on the dork table making making light of it. How do you explain this serious shit to a guy that's really in need of knowing it? And Rob, hold on, let me let me interrupt that with this. Rob went back to, uh, they get a lien on it, you own it. It's not about that. It, see, the question I'm asking is so kind of weird. I didn't think it would translate very well. What I meant, Rob, is if the bank never owned the fucking land, never had title to it, what the hell did they sell you? How how do they foreclose on it? Oh, there you go. Well, that that. That's what that all all that illegal foreclosure information is about to show you how they never had title, blah, blah, blah. But still, before that, where did the land title start it, at the bank? And we need to know these things and we're not taught them. There's no classes on this. No. And if there no. is, you become a banker and make money off the sheep. And I think Rob had covered that uh, in Smoke and Mirrors. Uh, there was one of those things where where they talked about the patent on the land. Right, but that's not even what I'm talking about at all. I'm talking about this. We all agree the bank has fraudulently sold you a parcel of land. Well, it hasn't sold you, but it's loaned you the money to uh, purchase. Right. Okay, take all that out of the fucking equation. Make it okay. too complicated now. I'm trying to cut it to black and white. So simple, a five-year-old could get it. If they create a title out of nothing on a bit of land, who owned the fucking land? The criminal is the one that claims to own the land, not the bank. The bank's just the middleman to make some money off your stupidity. The real crook is the fucking government that's claiming to own this land with all this illegal activity going on being done called business. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And they get the support of the voter for fucking everybody over like this? It's insanity. Yeah, well, you know, and that's that is part of that whole educraption system. And they don't teach you it, anything it, that will help you. No, they just they but, just make you mold you. They mold you. They are formers. They mold you into this lovely little. You may be a square, but they're going to mold you into that little round peg hole, and they're going to make you stay there. And without enforcement. All of this crap is just jibber-jabber talk. Doesn't mean anything to anyone until you bring in enforcement to perform a service, whatever that service is. Well, yeah, if there aren't negative repercussions to not doing what they say, then if it's not yeah, if yeah, it's not something that you see as beneficial, you're not going to do it. So they have to have some kind of negative reinforcement. Well, they've got this great scam. They stole a bunch of land from other people. And then they sell it to you. Oh, like, okay, so you're talking about, like, foreclosed properties that they I'm say, okay, we have got a fucking house that is built and sold. The land does not, see, it's an illusion to me. It's not an illusion to everybody else. This is the argument I've had since I was a little kid. Nobody owns it. You're talking out of your butt. You're standing here in California, and you're telling me you own a house in New York? Are you stupid? You can't. You're here. I don't care what you tell me you own somewhere I'm not. That's stupid. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. See, 
There, okay. There's more base level is where you're coming yeah, at. There, okay. There's too much land and too few people to justify the way we live as as people. It, it's it's a it's an illusion. You've got to join it and buy into it, or it's a bunch of shit. Yeah. I don't think like Rob or Grimner. I don't think those two take much of this crap seriously. Less, probably less than me. I, I, I would like to be as comfortable as those two guys are about it. I'm more like Woody, where I, I get verbal and want to chatter. Yeah. You know? Well, eh. and actually, when you get, yeah. When of course, you... I got a younger wife, so she does, you know, keep my mind young. I don't feel like I'm ninety. I feel like I'm sixty. Uh. <laughs> okay. People. Wow. You, do. you know how she is, right? Yep. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, she turned. She was a real adult this year. She hit the big four zero. <laughs> so she's four years old. So yeah, even me, me and her sister were teasing her, because she's older than her sister. She got a little sister. Ah. Yeah, her her sister's a funny fucking sister. I'm telling you, and she doesn't speak much English. Sometimes, but you know, usually I just catch the behavior of the women, and she's very catty and sarcastic because they're always laughing when Maria's around. Ah. Oh yeah, and her kid, oh they, her husband's kind of quiet, but the boy, he's a character. Oh, he's a is he the he's twelve now? Oh no, he's thirteen. He's 13? coming up on fourteen. Oh yeah, wow. He's next When's his birthday, sir? Golly. September. Well, I thought it was after me. Huh? Oh, he's born. October. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, she made the mistake on her nephew's birthday. He's uh, He'll be coming up on 14 in October. And he's a big, tall kid, too. Okay, big, tall to you. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. But, but that's what I mean. When I met him, he was my size. <laughs> and now when he comes over, he's a head taller than me, and he looks down. Ah. See, Grimmy but, says you're only as old as the woman you feel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks, Grim. That should be a freaking quote. <laughs> Damn, Grimner. Wow, now I'm like hands, I'm kissing Grimner's ass. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't want to be your groupie. I just like what you wrote, mister. <laughs> I'm not coming to New Mexico to make tea for you or nothing. You're on your own. I think you would probably hide if you did. <laughs> no, actually, I'll bet Grim, Grimner would be on my list of people to meet from that I've met online. Oh, yeah. I'd like, yeah, I'd, I'd get quite the kick out of meeting Mr. Grimner. And say, Mr. Rob works, Mr. Wanna Taco, Kate. Yeah. Yeah. Wildest one out of the whole crowd would be Moose Girl. Oh, Lord. Wild yeah. woman. Wild woman. Yeah. You know, we all have our, our images of the people that we, you know, we know online. We see them in the light we see them in. Mm-hmm. Go. It's all a matter of interpretation. Mm -hmm. But we think there's rules, and the rules are just a bunch of bullshit. The rules create all the problems we have amongst ourselves. Yeah. Because without rules, there's no way to compare the other guy to yourself and go, I'm better than you, nigger. You don't know <laughs> shit. Because yeah. well, that's what we were taught to do, to compete and be right and show the other guy how stupid he is, where he's wrong. And look at those trash people living in the gutter. Uh Shit like that has, the last 30, 40 years, become common. But when I was a little kid, I never saw a grown man laying in the gutter unless I went to L.A. Downtown L.A. was common. Ah. Yeah, my father was insane now that I look back at it. Me and my little brother in, like, 1969, he was going to some kind of school to learn how to do something. I can't remember what it was now, but... It was in downtown L.A., and certain days, my mom would be busy doing something else, and he'd have to mind us. 
So he'd mind us by giving us a buck and telling us to go watch a movie. <laughs> I'm in school. Meet me back here at so-and-so time. If you're not here, I'm coming looking for you. Oh. <laughs> and Ooh. we encountered some strange people in L.A. when we were the little kids. Nine, ten years old. Didn't know what we were seeing. You know, that age when you're looking at it, but what the hell is that? Is that a guy in a dress? <laughs> Looks oh. like a man. Can't really tell. Oh, well. Where's the movie house and just go to the theater? Because you're not old enough to really give a fuck about nothing but going to the movie. Uh, well, you... Mm, and see, nowadays, if you did the same thing with two, a nine and a ten-year-old in downtown L.A. and the system find out about it, you'd lose your kids over it. Yeah. Child endangerment or something. Man, my father said these... <laughs> Take them both on, fucker. You want to try them? <laughs> Go on. Uh, we had four uncles and cousins and crazy old man. So, no, we were all right. But that's what I mean is my growing up is so much different than what I see today. It's just kind of shattering. You know, sometimes I wonder if maybe all of this trying to protect our children actually made them a lot more vulnerable and actually emboldened the douchebags that are out there in the world. You can't have one without the other. If you're going to have safety, then you're going to have problems. Well, if you're if you're going to strive for safety, you're always going to have someone striving to test that safety and security. Well, and that's nature. But, uh, that's what I mean. They're trying to control nature. That's what society is. We're smarter than nature. We're going to control the weather. We're going to control the food and make it better for you so that blah, blah, blah. it's a bunch of horseshit. In the end, you find out when you're my age is that the old ways that got people, uh, you know, kept people alive 100 years ago are what we should be doing now. Yeah. And all this modern crap is just to make money off your ass. Because some of you are going to die and some of you are going to survive. It don't matter the system because they got hundreds and fucking hundreds of millions of us all over the planet to play with. And when you're dealing in that kind of number, the individual is lost. They don't give two fucks about it. You think Trump is so fucking special if they put him down tomorrow, they'll replace him the next day with another monkey. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Fucking make any difference at all, and the game will stay the way the game is. And Every player tie, in the game is replaceable. Yeah, and some suit and tie will get up there and take the praise or the defeat of whatever bullshit story they're feeding us on the Internet. Yeah. Because I truly believe what they're really doing is ten times more horrid than what we're reading. Mm. we're not in tune and aware enough to know just how bad this whole thing really is. And well, the few people that dare to speak about it usually end up in trouble. Mm. If you get a big enough audience, eventually you're going to get hurt for doing what we're doing. Right now, there's nobody cares what we say. Yeah. But there's going to come a time where it will matter because like you were saying, people are getting, getting wise to the game, the straw man. I, I was on a mines earlier today and one, the, you can tell the intellect say, you know, the education level of another person by the way they write to you. Yeah. Okay. So this man is obviously educated, but I introduced him to the straw man. Uh huh. And the way I did it, at first, I think he thought I was insulting him. I asked him, have you met your straw man? And he, what? What does that mean? Oh, so I posted the link. And he still gave me a kind of a like, what the, are you fucking with me? And I went, watch the link. <laughs> so yeah. we watched the link. And then when he responded, it was a different, a, a different demeanor, a more level playing ground demeanor in his writing. It wasn't, oh, it was... More like, I get that. Yeah. That's how blind we are as a collective. Very intelligent people. They might know about vaccines, but they don't know about straw man. Um... They might be a Jew and not believe the stuff that's bad about the Jew. See, and... Or whatever else, Catholic or Muslim or 
pagan or whatever the fuck religion you are. There's bad people in every group. That's what groups do. That's true. There are bad people. You know, that's yeah, where the phrase one individual. bad apple ruins a whole bunch. I mean, that's... Because whatever the dork table is, Mary, it's not a group. <laughs> it's an, it's, it's, it's an hurting cats. I, although I yeah. do think I think hurting cats might be easier than hurting dorks. <laughs> but, but dorks, you know, dorks are more fun. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, and they ask the fun questions. They don't play games too much, just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, but when they play games, you know they're playing games. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I mean. And some people are so caught in the illusion of society that it controls their behavior. Yeah. And God, isolate this, and you're one of those, and you're in this group, and you know that's how they do it. That's how this works, so that we will be defeated by the few. <laughs> Keep us fighting, so that we don't notice they're even there. Yeah. I'm telling you, you say Rothschild to a stranger, and they're gonna what? That candy? <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. They don't know. Have, I don't know how old I was before the name Rothschilds meant anything to me. I think it was a grown man. I'm pretty sure because I remember there was uh, candies my mom used to get. Yeah. But, you know, speaking about Rothschilds and all that other fun stuff, is a person that doesn't know Rothschilds and yet they are, they are going about their life, doing their thing, not bothering anybody, living very contentedly, very comfortably in whatever they're doing, does that make them dumber or does that make <laughs> them smarter? Because if you... Does that matter? Well, and sometimes I wonder, you know, it's kind of like saying a fish is stupid because it can't climb yeah. a tree. Well, I'm arguing giving it a value either way. Just just leave people to fuck alone. But we're, we're too tied together now. The individual's been taken away from us. You're not taught to promote it. You know, pursue it or to be one. You're taught to be part of a group. Yes. A bigger collective so you can stand in strength and be powerful. Are you out of your fucking mind? I see Hannibal and Circle here. I don't see anybody else. So, no, I'm I'm not going to do that. Yeah. And people don't seem to, to get what I mean by it. You know, I don't want to be at war with anyone. And if you're going to tell stories and bullshit and lie, I'm going to call you out on it. That's what I do. That's why I'm so popular on the interwebs. <laughs> well, you know, and that's where I have kind of sort of come to the conclusion. And this is just a thought that I've bec it's become a habit to to keep it in there. But I almost wonder if, if when they say some of that shit, they really honestly believe it. And if they really honestly believe it, yeah. it's not yeah. a lie to them. Right. I, we've had that talk many times. Whatever mm -hmm. you believe is true, that's truth. That's what that is. Then you have other things like reality and correct. And they're individual, too. I don't think there's a joint anything for the all of us, except that we're alive and you're supposed to just enjoy it. And we turn it on all this instead. It's just sad. Yeah. But luckily for me, small, tiny community, same old faces. Yeah. So, so people are used to seeing me. Ah, okay. Bo Diddy just messaged me, and he said, "Not good," and I'll see what I can do. So, yay, Bo Diddy. On the uh, the whole effing site. Ah, uh, we didn't get any pancakes today. No. Nope. But I had waffles a, last night. <laughs> you know, it'd be a real kick to get over to the RLM. Would be Penny Hanson. She's a controversial character. Yeah. She. People don't like Penny. I love that woman to death. I'm the one that told Sir, hey, Sir, Penny School. Because she, it, you got to look at it in a certain light. Yeah, Penny is pretty, Penny is most definitely Penny? an opinionated yeah. lady. Well, so what? She's, what, 80 years old, too. Well. Imagine, imagine being able to type anymore when you're 80 years old today. Think about it. 
<laughs> wow. I don't know. I, I figure if I'm alive when I'm 80, I'll still be sitting. I'll be sitting here drooling over a microphone, mumbling like Stallone. <laughs> close my thing with we're all taught all the wrong shit yeah all of us not just me not just you and it's not we're not getting along on on it's a design oh yeah you're falling into traps enjoy your traps or ignore them but mm, it's not good for anyone no we we, we need to do something smarter than this now things are changing yes they are Mm. stop fighting what you don't like create something or design something that you would like and work towards that. Tell the truth, don't kill anyone, and grow hemp. Yay! And that's it for the Dork Table. Thanks, everybody, for listening in and playing along with us. It really was a fun one today. Be sure to uh, check back often because there's all kinds of stuff going on on the RLM. Tomorrow at noon Eastern Time, Grimner will be on with the Blues who's and the hopefully a rousing game of trivia going on in the chit-chat. I would like to be able to partake in that. Also, directly following Grimner will be Hal Anthony who's going to open up a can of whoop-ass on yo ass behind the woodshed. And then tomorrow evening, 7 p.m. Eastern.